easy to deal with. And you can just easily put it up and have it still look nice. So what you're really going to need are a couple of spin pins, some normal straight bobby pins, and then just some hairspray. You can use any hairspray you like, but I'm using the Big Sexy hairspray. So the first hairstyle is the voluminous ponytail, as I like to call it, and you're just going to start out by gathering the hair at the base of your neck and twisting it and then pulling it up towards the crown of your head so that all the hair is facing forward. So once you have your hair in place, you're just going to twist and spin the spin pin into your hair, and then I'm going to take a second one and actually cross them together, which I'll show you with my fingers, so that they make an X inside of the hair just like that and then once it's secure you just flip the hair back over and it makes a nice little ponytail. I'm just arranging my hair as I like to have a little more volume in front and then just kind of straightening it out. I really like doing my hair this way because of the extra volume flipping the ponytail gives and you can't see any sort of hair tie in your hair. So this next one is a loose bun and you're just going to start out the exact same way as you do with the ponytail, pulling your hair back and then twisting and pulling forward so that all your hair is piled up right at the top of your head. Then you're just going to take your spin pins again and twist them into your hair. And I will say it's really important to get the spin pins to go really close to your scalp. You don't want to scratch yourself but you definitely want them to be secure right next to your head so that they don't slide around. So just securing with the second spin pin and then I have a lovely crown of hair on top of my head. This is where the straight bobby pins come in. So what we're going to do with these is take that wild mess and start sort of piecing and pulling it back little bit by little bit. And you just want to pin it back into the twist that you already made. So you're sort of making a loose kind of piecey messy bun at the top of your head and just kind of take it one little bit at a time and kind of arrange it however you want and it's easier if you use a mirror and not a camera viewfinder. <laughs> so once you're done arranging it and hairspraying it, this should be something of what it looks like. You can leave it more messy if you like, but I just kind of smoothed it down for the purpose of showing you guys in this video. What I really like about this one is it looks like a much more complicated updo than it really is. Last but not least is just the really simple ballerina bun and this is my absolute go-to when I really do have absolutely no time to do anything with my hair. So you're just going to pull your hair up to the top of your head, spin it around and kind of make a donut at the very top of your head. And what I like to do is kind of push the bun forward to give myself a little bit more volume at the crown of my head and then just take the spin pins again and twist them in so that they're making an X within the hairstyle. Again, this is just to keep them really secure so they won't go anywhere. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can use straight bobby pins to kind of secure any extra pieces, but it really just kind of makes a really nice tiny little ballerina bun all on its own.